course, Suray came out with a fantastic Micro Four Thirds Super 35 50 millimeter anamorphic lens at f1.8 and a 1.33 squeeze. Then they decided to step up their game and come out with a full frame 50 millimeter anamorphic lens, which is fantastic by the way, at T2.9 and a 1.6 squeeze. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell, Suray finally did it and came out with a full frame 50, 50 millimeter anamorphic lens that is inexpensive, but definitely not cheap. It is a fantastic lens for the price point, but I do have a few nitpicks that I'll get to later on. So, but other than that, this is a fantastic lens. Let me show you a quick comparison between the original Micro Four Thirds 50 millimeter Super 35 and the new full frame anamorphic 50 millimeter. So as you can tell, this is definitely bigger, but is a fantastic lens. So let's go ahead and get in some shots and see what this thing can actually do. So stand by and we'll get into it. All right, everybody. So here we're just going to do a quick comparison of a spherical lens and an anamorphic lens. So right now we have on the Suray 50 millimeter, it's at about T3.0. And you can see the field of view and how wide it is. And I'm using the OCT7 to monitor the image because it has a 1.66 D squeeze. And since this monitor, monitor, since this lens has a squeeze factor of 1.6, looks perfect on the OCT7. Fantastic. So if you need a recommendation for a monitor, there you go. A little bit more on the pricier side, but well worth it for stuff like this. So this is a quick look at the Suray and an anamorphic lens. And I'm going to switch over to a cinema style spherical lens. So uh, stand by and let me switch lenses. All right, everybody. So here we are. We're on the Mike 50 millimeter full frame cine lens. And you can see the difference in field of view and the way the picture looks or your scene looks. Definitely a difference. You know, you can see how squished this is compared to an anamorphic lens and how much wider an anamorphic lens is. It's just fantastic. So once again, this is the Mike 50 millimeter full frame. It's also on about T3.0. And I'll also put them one on top of each other so you can see the difference. So uh, stand by and let me go ahead and get out of this.
right, everybody. So here is the setup I used, which is a Canon R5, an OC T7, because this has a 1.66 D squeeze built into the monitor, which is definitely close enough to get good framing and a good picture and video and all that stuff. And here, here how, how big it is on the R5, definitely bigger than the Micro Four Thirds version of this lens, but man, this is just a fantastic lens for the price point. So let me get on to the nitpicky stuff. First of all, it's a metal housing, fantastic. This thing is built solid. The focus ring, nice and smooth. The aperture ring, a, a little stiff for my liking, but hopefully that'll loosen up over time, but this is definitely a little stiff. And my biggest complaint to Suray, and I put this on their Indigo site, Indiegogo site, sorry, is this these lens caps. I get better lens cap with a $100 lens instead of a nice full frame anamorphic lens. Why would you make a fantastic lens and then cheap out on the lens caps? Like I said, that's being nitpicky, but I had to find something wrong with this lens. So other than that, fantastic lens, great build quality, sharp, but not clinically sharp. And the flares, of course, Suray is famous for or infamous for, whatever you want to say, look fantastic. So hopefully you learned a little bit, are as excited about these new anamorphic lenses as I am. Thank you, everybody, for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.